Hello guys and welcome back to the YouTube channel. On today's episode, I'll be talking about five ways by which you can uh, get into the cash flow value chain and make cool money for yourself. On this video, I'll be highlighting uh, five ways by which uh, you can actually do business in the cash flow value chain and not necessarily you having uh, your own uh, plantation. So in this video, uh, if you are somebody uh, that is from uh, the cashew belt in Nigeria. In your own area, you produce so much cashew and you don't have the money, uh, you don't have the land to establish uh, your home plantation. Capital has been your problem. Uh, so in this video, I'll be talking about uh, five ways by which you can actually do business uh, in the cashew uh, value chain and make some cool money for yourself. So first and foremost, uh, as we all know, cashew is uh, a permanent cash crop of uh, international uh, recognition. It have so much uh, cashew have so much uh, international value, and it's a source of foreign exchange to many local farmers uh, because cashew nut is one of the most highly prized uh, nuts uh, globally, and Nigeria is one of the highest uh, producer of this uh, commodity. So, having said that, uh, the number one point on my list today, where you can actually do business in the cashew, cashew uh, value chain and make money for yourself without you needing to buy land and establish a plantation, is uh, not trading. In the cashew not trading, you can actually uh, look for a shop in the local areas in the cashew uh, belt of Nigeria where cashew is being produced uh, in high quantity. So you can actually look for a shop uh, and buy from local farmers. When you buy from local farmers, you, you buy uh, at the current price of the market. There will always be market. Uh, the Lebanese, the Indians, they actually come to Nigeria during the cashew season. So you buy from local farmers, you sell to sell to those uh, exporters the agents that are buying for export you sell to them so that is uh, the number one uh, area where you can actually do business in the cash uh, value chain and number two on the list where you can actually do business in the cash value chain is actually the issue of not processing and this is very very important this is actually uh, one of the most important uh, value chain in the cash uh, industry as it stands now uh, Nigeria exports over 80% of its uh, cashew nuts to India, to uh, Lebanon, Le Lebanon and so many other countries. And what happened is that when you export a raw material, when you export the raw material, it's just like you are exporting money, you are exporting work, you are exporting uh, value attached to that uh, commodity. So when you set up your own uh, nut uh, processing you'll be able to have higher return on investment because uh, the price you'll be buying and the price you'll be selling there will be a very very wide gap uh, in between when you process anything when you process anything any agro, agro, agro commodity when you process any agro commodity the value seems to multiply more than three times so imagine you you buy uh, a container of cashew nut for one thousand naira. By the time you process it, you'll be selling nothing less. The same quantity you process, you'll be selling it nothing less than four thousand naira. So that's the just the value of a cashew nut processing. And you can actually process cashew nut into cashew uh, cashew nut cashew nut into cashew nut. You put it in bottle. You package it, you put label, and you sell in a supermarket. It's a very, very uh, nice investment, a money doubling venture, whereby you have a very high return on your. Income. And number three on my list is uh, the supply of seedling, the establishment of nursery. There are not a lot of people, thousands of people, who are looking for a way to establish uh, their home cashew plantation because many people are now. Uh, understanding the wealth that is embedded in the cash industry and so much people are willing every year to establish uh, 
plantation. So this is where this is another avenue that creates a business for you. You can actually go into the business of uh, selling seedling. You can raise a nursery and at the end of uh, six, seven months, you sell those seedlings to people who wants to uh, establish their own plantation. And currently, a mature seedling of uh, Kashi goes for nothing less than 500 Naira. It's 500 Naira upward. And what will you be needing? You'll be needing just uh, uh, some seed and some graf grafting material just to produce a uh, hybrid and sand and polythene bag and constant water supply. This is all you need and you I'm very very sure of this uh, of this that you'll be cashing out you'll be making so much money for yourself. And number four uh, on my list is uh, you establishing warehousing do, going into the warehousing and the haulage industry. You can actually also do business in this area. Uh, you, you you set up a warehouse or if you have an abandoned house in the in the rural area where cashew is being produced massively you can actually use those houses as a warehouse for for all these uh, uh foreign uh, agents who buy cashew from local farmers you help them store uh, the cashew not in bags in your facility for a charge you charge them for all this and also you can actually do haulage service you help them you you do transport service you help them to transport uh, the cash in out from the from the rural area down to the city whereby you, they can take it to the to, to to the sea for for shipment so this also provide another uh avenue whereby you can do business in the cashew industry and lastly but not the least is the issue of processing of the cashew apple i can categorically tell you that over 90 percent of cashew apple goes into waste the bulk of the attention of people is on the cash note. It's on the cash note. So people find it a way of throwing away uh, the cash apple, and this results into a lot of post harvest waste. Because cash apple also have so many uses, so many value attached to it. It's a very very good source of juice. You can actually squeeze, squeeze it and make a very uh, good juice from it. Uh, not forgetting that it has so many uh, medicinal value, especially if you can have a very, very nice location in the city. You, you squeeze cashew juice, chilled one, and you serve it to people. You will be, you will be making some money for yourself. Not, my, not forgetting that you actually be getting this cashew happen next, next to free. Because some people will actually give it to you free. Some people see it as something as waste. And not forgetting, you can also actually process it into so many other products apart from juice. You can process it into syrup. You can process it into ethanol and so many other things. So these are the five ways by which uh, you can uh, do business in the cash value chain. And you don't necessarily uh, wait for the time you will have the money and the capacity to establish your own plantation before you cash out you before you start cashing out and making money from the cashew uh, value chain in nigeria so if you actually find this video uh, interesting and valuable kindly give it a like and share with your friends and if you have so or other question on this topic or any agricultural topic kindly drop it in the comment section then i will provide answers to to them and if it warrants me to make another video on the topic you, you just asked question on i will do so and this will give us a kind of a closer interaction avenue to talk to each other i so much appreciate your time thank you for your time and thank you for your attention and if you are watching this channel for the first time my name is lawa michelle lawa and i'm a farmer by practice i'm a farmer by training i'm a farmer by education uh, and this channel is actually dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture. Everything we do on this channel circles around uh, profitable and sustainable agriculture. So if you are watching for the first time, kindly click on the subscribe button to have access to more of our videos. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll see you on my next video.